Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about multiplication of fractions, specifically multiplication of whole numbers by a fraction. We have a sample problem here. Errol has 300 native chickens. He was able to sell one-third of the number of his native chickens last week. How many were sold and how many were left? Are we given? 300 chickens and one-third of the chickens. Okay, let's have a diagram in order for us to have a better picture of the problem. We will draw a box, then we are going to divide it into three, and one-third of the native chickens were sold, so we will shade one-third of it, and this is the sold part, and this one where left okay how are we going to get the value of each part of the box then we can divide 300 by 3 because there are 3 parts 3 divided by 3 that's 1 1 times 3 is 3 0 divided by 3 is 0 0 times 3 is 0 then bring down 0, 0, divided by 3 is 0, then 0 times 3 is 0, what's left is 0. Or just simply three, do 300 divided by 3, that's cancel, cancel, what's left is 1. So what's left is 100. So we can have in each box 100. We will put it inside our boxes this is 100 this is also 100 this is also 100 okay we can already answer the question how many were sold it means Errol was able to sell 100 chickens last week And then what's left? 100 plus 100, that's 200 chickens. This is the number of chickens we're left. So this is our final answers. Another way of solving this is by multiplying 300 chickens times one-third is there something that we can cancel yes that's 300 and then 3 what number can be divided by both of them it's 3 so 300 divided by um, 3 is 100 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1 so 100 times 1 is equal to 100 then copy 1, that's 100 divided by 1 is 100. And then we can also just subtract it from the 300. 300 minus 100 is equal to 200. This is the, the number of chickens that were left. So we have still the same answer. That's it. We have another example. Thiago spent two-thirds hours doing his homework in one subject. How many hours will it take him to finish doing three subjects? Our given in this problem are the following. Two-thirds hours and three subjects. 
So in order to solve this problem, it is best if we can draw a diagram first. So that's easier for us to solve. Okay, the diagram shows that we have two-thirds of an hour. So this is one, two-thirds, and another two-thirds, and another two-thirds. Because we need to have three subjects. So based on this diagram, there are six shaded parts. We can do this diagram in this way. That's one. We need to have six shaded parts. That's two. That's three. We need to make another one box so that we can shade six. That's four and five and then six. How many holes did we have? So we had made two holes. It means our answer is two. Another way of solving this is two thirds times three equals that's two times three over three. Then we can have the answer two times three equals six. Copy three in the denominator. That will be two. Two hours. Another way of solving this is through cancellation. We can do this 2 times 3 over 3. What can we cancel? The two threes here, it can be divided by 3. Then this will become 1, 1. What's left is equal to 2 times 1 is 2. Then 1 equals 2. It's still 2 hours. We have another example here that is. 2 times 3 fourths. Is there something that we can cancel? Yes, that's 2 and then 4. What number can we divide by 2 and 4? That's 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then we can proceed to multiplication. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. And then copy 2. So since 3 halves is an example of improper fraction, we can change it into mixed number. We can divide 3 divided by 2. How many 2's are there in 3? That's 1. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. We can subtract 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So our 1 here, the quotient will be our whole number the remainder will be our numerator and the divisor here is our denominator so the answer is one and one half another example is ten times five sixth is there something that we can cancel yes ten and six we can divide it by two 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Then we can already proceed to multiplication. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Then copy 3. This is an example of an improper fraction. So we can change it into mixed number. 25 divided by 3. How many 3's are there in 25? That there's 8. 8 times 3 is equal to 24. You can subtract. 25 minus 24 is equal to 1. 8 here will become our whole number. The 1 will become our numerator. And the 3 here will become our answer is 8 and 1 third. We have another example. We can multiply 4 times one third times three eighths okay so we can solve it this way is there something that we can cancel yes that's the threes there we can divide 
it by 3 that's 1 and 1 we can also cancel the 4 and 8 we can divide it by 4 so 4 divided by 4 it's 1 8 divided by 4 it's 2 so that's so simple now we can just multiply all the numerators that's 1 times 1 times 1 the answer is 1 then the denominators 1 times 2 the answer is 2 so our final answer is 1 half so that's so easy don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful till next time